After two great weeks in Patagonia, we flew north to Puerto Montt. It was rainy and windy when we landed in Puerto Montt. We rented a car and started our exploration of the Chilean Lake District. We only drove about an hour that day and stayed in the country near Ensenada. The next morning, we visited the waterfalls on the Petrohu River, then drove north to Futrono. We stayed just outside of Futrono in a new three-bedroom geodesic dome with a washing machine and an automatic pellet stove. It was a holiday and all the restaurants in town were closed, so we cooked grocery store pizza for dinner and then read and relaxed. The next day we had coffee in town, then did a hike we found on all trails along the Conahue River. It turned out to be more of a road walk than a trail, but we saw only one other car and the scenery and views were wonderful. Thank you. I definitely do not want to like Rock jump across. <laughs> You're gonna carry him on your back? No, I've been dragging him. Make him zip up his jacket. <laughs> on our way back into town, we stopped to check out the view from a bridge over the Conahue River. We ate dinner at a steakhouse called De Palani Quagyu. Our food was fantastic and we had a great view of the Lake Ranco and the surrounding mountains. The next morning we drove to Ninuan Lodge near Pucon. This is the lovely place we're staying near Pucon. We're going to be here two nights. Nice room. There's our bathroom. And then we have a nice sitting area down here. Hopefully tomorrow, it looks like it's clearing a little bit tomorrow, we're hoping for sun. Ten percent of the active volcanoes on Earth are in Chile. The day after arriving at Ninuan Lodge, we visited Villarica National Park and hiked on the slopes of Volcano Villarica. On a hike in the Villarica National Park towards the volcano up until we can't go because of snow probably. They got quite a bit of snow here a few days ago. Now the clouds have cleared just enough that we can see the smoke coming out of the volcano. And now they've left me behind.
So it looks like the last eruption was in 2015. So yeah. Know. So it's probably due, I'd say, isn't it? Yeah. About every, well, it's pretty day. Wow, that's pretty. I think we lucked out. You could almost convince yourselves that's just clouds, but they do look, the smoke looks a bit different than the... Oh, it looks very different. One thing, that cloud is coming out of the top of the volcano. <laughs> this is true. Oh, wait, wait, do it again. <laughs> I'm gonna get wet. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> oh, wait, let me get my camera. <laughs> oh, that's okay. So you think that's ash? <laughs> Must be ash, huh? Almost done packing up here. You deciphered the packing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. From Pukan, we drove to Huilo Huilo Biological Preserve. We had some great volcano and lake views on the drive. After checking in, we went for a two mile hike near the hotel. The next day we walked across the road to visit the museum and animal park. They have wild boar and red deer that we were able to get a good view of. The museum covers some of the minerals and mining in Chile, and the history of the indigenous people. The museum is quite run down, but it was still very interesting. I love this um, the carved tusk here. At first I thought it was woolly mammoth and from here, but I think it's Asian. The writing on it looks like maybe Korean or something, I don't know. And then these are, it says, Mapuche silverware. This is all in the museum at Wheelow Wheelow. The 
these are the, I think these are red deer at the animal park at Huila Huila. waterfalls called Huilo Huilo. We're going to hike up there to another one, to another viewpoint of this one. Right, you get a much better picture of it from here. This is Huilo Huilo Falls. You can see a guy yellow shirt way up there. We came from the very top there. Down around here, got a whole bunch of stairs. And this great viewpoint at the bottom. There's a lot of mist here. <laughs> He just fell out of the tree. Try him over again if you can. You can pick him up with your fingers if you want to. I could, but this is kind of more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Not as effective, maybe. But oh, he's beautiful. It's pretty green. Oh, maybe not. There is an exit down. We're going through, she says. So that means I need my poles. I don't want to come back up. I think I'm going to need to get my light out. Who's that? Is that a ghost down there? Yeah. Ugh. Okay, I'm I'm stopping filming and getting my light out.
bit of sun for you, but you're selfish. You've got, you've got to learn to hunt for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> After breakfast, we checked out of the hotel, but before we left the area, we hiked to the bottom of Waterfall El Puma. After our hike, we drove about three and a half hours south to Frutillar. This is the view from our B&B in Frutillar. The weather prevented us from seeing the volcano at the end of the lake. Where we're staying, or just down the road from where we're staying, is this Kuchenladen. There's a big um, German influence here, apparently. And we're buying cake to take back to our place. For dinner, we had a wonderful meal at Colonas del Lago, a short walk from our B&B. This piano was right outside the restaurant window. Bonnie and I couldn't resist posing with it. The next morning, we drove to Portamont and then flew to Santiago. Bonnie and Brian continued on home from there. We had so much fun traveling with them. Duke and I flew with them to Santiago, where we stayed for a few more days. That's where we will be in our next video. Mm -hmm.